An LLC is not required to operate a business. So before you start an LLC, you should be asking yourself these three questions. Do you need an LLC? When should you get an LLC for your business? And have I smashed the like button for the YouTube algorithm? It truly helps the channel grow. But seriously, there are major cons and major pros to having an LLC. And believe it or not, an LLC is not right for everyone. So watch until the end of this video to find out if an LLC is right for you. Okay, let's jump right in. So I'm going to start off with a spoiler alert and answer the question right out of the gate. There are six major reasons why you would want to have an LLC. And if one or more of them apply to you, then you will want to have an LLC. So what are these six major reasons? Well, the first reason is hidden right inside the name, and that is protection from personal liability. Let me explain. An LLC LLC is an abbreviation for limited liability company. And just as the name implies, by having an LLC, your personal assets are generally safe from any liability that arises while doing business. For example, let's say you're a plumber and your work causes a leak within a house and $100,000 worth of damage. Here's the million dollar question. If you are sued, is your personal bank account, your car, your house, and other assets up for the grabs to pay for the damage. If you're a sole proprietor or general partnership, you are not considered separate from your business, meaning your personal assets can be taken from you to pay for business liabilities. On the other hand, if you're an LLC, aka limited liability company, you are considered separate from your business and therefore are generally protected from business liabilities and credit Editors, making the LLC the perfect entity to protect you from businesses that have some risk of liability. Note that there are some rules you do have to follow to maintain that protection, like keeping your business and personal assets separate from one another. But if you're in an industry where risk is low, then a limited liability company may not be necessary. Okay, let's look at the second reason you may need an LLC. The second reason you would need an LLC is if you want to obtain business financing. In general, sole proprietorships and partnerships are not separate from their business, meaning they can't have a separate business credit history from their personal credit history. And to be frank, the ability to obtain business financing can be the difference between your business starting up or even remaining open because building business credit separate from your personal credit comes with four big benefits. First, business credit allows you to have higher credit limits, which are typically higher than you would find with personal credit, which gives you more purchasing power to fund and operate your business. Secondly, business credit provides what I call utilization freedom. For example, with a personal credit card, when you use more than 30% of your credit limit, it negatively affects your credit. But with business credit, credit utilization is not a major factor in your credit score, which gives you the freedom to use your credit card without worrying about credit utilization. Additionally, business credit does not affect your personal credit unless you sign a personal guarantee. So if your business can't pay for its debts, you're not personally held responsible. And lastly, business credit it typically has higher chances of approval, better terms, and better pricing than you would typically have with personal credit, and better pricing on things like leases, loans, and financial products which ultimately saves your business money and allows you to use more capital to grow that business. And when you don't have an LLC or a corporation, obtaining business financing can be tough, but not impossible. And I'm going to be coming out with a video shortly to show you how to do it. Okay, third, you'll need an LLC if you want 
flexibility. Here's why. An LLC has no restriction on shares and can be owned by an individual, another LLC, a corporation, or even a trust. An LLC can also allocate the profits and losses of the business however indicated in the LLC operating agreement. And this flexibility of ownership can open the door of state planning strategies and even greater asset protection strategies that are not available available to sole proprietors or general partnerships. In addition, LLCs have no management restrictions. The LLC can be what's called member managed, meaning all the owners of the business have a say in the day-to-day -day operations, no matter their ownership percentage, unless you state otherwise in your operating agreement, or the LLC could be member managed which means some or even none of the partners operate in the business day to day. Once again, this type of flexibility is not available to sole proprietors as there is only one owner in that business. Speaking of having only one owner, when you die, the business dies as well. But when you're an LLC, you can specify what happens upon member death and who, if anyone, can take their shares of the company. If you care about ownership flexibility or leaving the business to your kids, then you would need an LLC. Now, the last reason you need an LLC would be for tax flexibility. By default, an LLC is taxed in two ways. Single member LLCs are taxed as a sole proprietor and multi-member LLCs will be taxed as a partnership. But with an LLC, there's tax flexibility, meaning you can elect to be taxed as a corporation instead of a sole proprietor or partnership. And after making 40,000 or more in your business, it may make sense to do so. And here's why. By default, all members of the LLC who are active in the business must pay self-employment taxes on all income earned by the LLC, which can add up to a lot of freaking taxes. But by choosing to be taxed as an S corporation, only the owner's salary is subject to self-employment taxes, while the dividends or distributions to the owners are not. Thus, by allowing your LLC to be taxed as an S corporation and paying yourself a reasonable salary, tax smart business owners can end up paying a lot less in taxes. If your business makes more than $40,000 in profit and you are under a certain max income, you could benefit from being an LLC that elects to be taxed as an S corporation. Now, while LLCs can be amazing, they do have some downsides. Let's talk about three of them. The first downside to an LLC is required state filings. And that's because depending on the state your LLC is registered with, you may be required to file an annual report, something called statements of information with that state. Now, the second downside to an LLC is one, the cost to form the LLC, and two, the cost to maintain that LLC. Fees can vary from state to state, but there are costs to staying in good standing with your state and local government. Fees can include LLC formation fees, LLC renewal renewal fees, registered agent fees, and more. And like we talked about, the last downside of an LLC is self-employment taxes. Because if you do not elect to be taxed as an escort, all profits are subject to self-employment taxes, which funds Social Security and Medicare. So let's answer the question, do you even need an LLC? Well, if your business has some risk of liability and or you want ownership and tax flexibility, you need an LLC. All right, and when do you get an LLC? Well, as soon as possible, unless you expect your business to remain low profit, think hobbies, or remain low risk. Well, there you have it. A couple of things to think about before you start an LLC. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It truly helps the channel grow and helps other business owners see this video. And subscribe to the channel for more information that helps you save on taxes and grow your business. I'm going to place a few videos on the screen I think you should watch next. Be sure to check them out. I'm Karan from Life Accounting and I'll see you in the next video.